Hi, uh, this book, Alexander by Theodore Ariel Dodge. Um, I have about five books of Alexander and four books of Hannibal and uh, four books of Caesar. All, all same books of Theodore A Ariel Dodge. I love this author. The more I read, the more I memorize stuff. Caesar uh, and Hannibal, we're going to leave out for a second because the pr uh, purpose of this video is t to um, show you that he wrote, Neither Philip nor Alexander were Greeks. The Macedonians stood midway, as it were, between the disposition or the despo-ridden Persian and the f true free Helena. Helena, Helens were the name for Greeks back then. Uh, they called themselves Helens. So, um, that being said, um, the author is extremely credible. He was a th Civil War veteran, lost a leg, so went to Europe to study all of the, um, uh, all of the, uh, 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 books on each, all of the best ancient warfare generals, and he got Caesar, Hannibal, and Alexander. Then he went on to Napoleon and Frederick the Great, but I'm not interested in them. But um, he uh, he actually, with one leg, visited each and every battleground that these guys fought upon, and he got all the information as if uh, the battleground was somehow. Uh, uh, excavated to make a town on it he would tell you this is the it, he would tell you the town either still stands as it was today or t uh, does not stand as it was today but I just wanted to let you know that um this guy dedicated his life to uh, these um generals and that being said uh, it, uh, I would definitely bet my bottom dollar if Theodore Dodge whispered in my ear to bet my bottom dollar that um, uh, uh, Alexander was half Persian. Yeah, and as much as it hurts to say it, um, he did take over all of Greece and all of Persia, so I mean, he's the perfect fit for the king if he's a little bit of both. So, uh, I just want to uh, let you guys know that. See ya.